got done power washing the frame for Diamond Auto Body. We got another Denali Ultimate. If you guys don't know or remember, these newer Chevys on the back frame, uh, there's a lot of grease on them. I was gonna have welded that, so we gotta power wash a lot of that off, and then Tio's gonna take out a torch and then rag off the rest of the of the grease so that he can weld onto it. Get as much grease as you can get. But the clean surface makes a beautiful weld. Yes, sir. almost done on the frame reinforcement for diamond auto body tail it's looking great that's right and just like anything start off as a piece of coal when it end up as a diamond man look what you got you're gonna make a lot of money diamond call me <laughs> I'm that's all looking I'm good Talk us through what you're doing and what you got left. I'm putting in the stop plates for the tubes. Currently the, the mid stop plates that stop the whole inner tube from coming out. And then afterwards, I'll get that last plate in on this side. I must install the stinger cylinder and then get the frame ready to be connected to the tube stack. Let's get to it. All right, so Will, why are you marking? I noticed a lot of these bolts on here have marks. What are those it's a, for? It's a witness mark. It's a testifying that I know it's 100% tight, so it ain't gonna loose or come out. Okay. Right now, Will's finished putting in the bump stops. We got our bolt on the chain boxes to hold the chains in. To the right.
All right, so just a little bit ago, Will brought back Diamond Auto Bodies uh, 2023 Sierra Denali Ultimate back from the spring shop. Let's take a look. John has got the pump in. Wire it up. Gonna get the custom helper pads in, but if you look, spring's looking a lot more beefy there. This will help a lot with any squat. This truck just got back from the spring shop and I'm about to cut and weld the helpers on. So let's do it. Look at how easy that was. didn't have that distance, it would be a problem. I'm so excited to hear you say that because I, you know, when everybody drops it off, they're, you know, but now here you are to pick it up, you know. So now, what's your impression? Is you know, 
My question. Yeah, even when I was here before, you had all the pieces over there. They were sitting, you were showing me what, what the old stuff was, the new stuff was, and everything. Well, I'm really proud of you because you bypassed a lot of the BS. You didn't, you went right to us. You looked and you did your due diligence. You researched. You seen problems other people are having. You yeah. told me. Yeah, they're, they're going every every three months, two months. How, how often does Ryan go to... Uh, I don't want to say the name, but... Yeah. How often do they, does he go? Uh, Thanks. Like, three, three, four months. Oh, okay. For like five hours, six hours, and it's just terrible. And yeah, so... Right, it, yeah, but I don't want to come back. Right. It's a long yeah. drive for me. <laughs> we like you, but we, we don't want to have to see you come back here for us or anything. Yeah. On the next truck. Yeah, and you brought a, a you know beautiful truck. Thank you. I mean that that thing is you're gonna fall in love with that truck. Did you ride in it yet? No, no, no. Yeah, let's go for a ride, yep. please. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I always liked the platinums and thought those were a better interior, but recently with this, this is a really nice. It, 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 uh, it, this is the most refined. You know, it is more ergonomic. I feel like you're in a. Uh, it's a sports car. It's like a jet fighter cockpit. You know what I mean? My you only get your back massaged. Is the uh, the steering wheel is not thick enough? Like cushiony? Yeah, it's or the thin. diameter of it. Very thin. The, uh, the wheel itself. Yeah. So go left up here, and then look for those bump. The last one is the biggest, and don't be afraid of it. Luckily, we're so fortunate to live in Detroit and have potholes right near us to show you. Oh, New York's the same exact way. I mean, dude. Not wrong. I, I, There's no would, rattling, no nothing. That would jar somebody. If you were in a wrecker, what would you hear? Yeah, just clank, clank, clank everywhere. Dude, that that has to be what? An eight inches deep. And then you see, like, here's a shitty road. Look at how messed up this road is. And you don't feel any of this stuff. And I can honestly say they never rode this good before. No? No. Now we've got it ironed out and, you know, uh, figured out with the Fox Shock and the stroke of them and the custom helper springs. Because you have to realize that all of the six of the extra leafs that you have, six of the springs, are not engaging right now because we don't have a car on it. So you're, you don't feel six of the springs that are installed. You know, there's only a couple to compensate for the weight of the unit right now. So but this still feels amazing. Doesn't it though? It I mean, you amazing. can go all the street and then left. And you don't, you don't feel the boom back there? That thing is heavy. Well, now your truck has stability in the back. Every pickup truck is light in the ass end. Your truck is not light in the ass end anymore. Yeah. You know, and so if you had to turn a corner fast she's gonna really grip that corner it's really gonna handle a lot better all customers say the truck rides better way better do you, do you agree way better yeah man it's thank you definitely that's, way better. Definitely. that's so important because these guys that are not getting the custom helper springs they are not getting this left they are not getting this ride no. imagine the guys that have so imagine how yeah it's probably terrible and then with the frame reinforcement too i saw the, those pictures that uh you guys posted out the, fr the original frame of this car was super thin yeah yep and it, so if people say well which one should i get and i tell them they all got a poopy frame <laughs> it doesn't matter which one i mean we truthfully the dodges are the worst of them all but the the wrecker would have been way clickety clockety clang clang chitty chitty bang bang you know yeah right so you don't mind sucking this in going down getting to the movies picking the wife up whatever you got to do kids going out in the town you know you could work all day in this thing and go out in the night with it yeah and, that, and to me that's efficiency yeah, it looks great and the thing is um it's way it's more in that i noticed than all oh, the other uh, ones yes it retracts in closer to the bubble yeah, yeah it's, it's it's this way closer even on the camera sure maybe we can pull it up somewhere here yeah i love it how you can do it while you're driving Man, that uh, is amazing. Where, oh, left one, left one. That one. Look at that, yeah. yeah. It just sits way in, it sits nice. Yeah, so the other ones stick way up. They're a damn near out to there, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, just, just this arm is like up to here. Right, and that's a big difference. And you want to know something else? Not only are they extended out more in the stove position, they don't extend out as far as no. yours. No, you, that, you follow me? that's why when I said, I was like, this is how long it gets, I was really surprised. Right. If you want, pick up that. You want to pick this up in the back and see the length? 
Yeah, the guy can turn here? Yeah. With a little practice, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Because you got the cameras, it just makes everything so easy. So, first thing I like to do is make sure that your switch is on for the PTO, right? Because nothing will work unless that's on. And then turn your controller on. Hold the red button for two seconds, or three. And then, now you know it's on because it's blinking. So at this point, my first thing was I would just tap the jaws close one time. A little bit, little, uh, yep, just tap it right there. That's perfect. Now I'd go out all the way and listen to the distinct sound of the pump. And that thing's moving. Look how fast that is. Keep going until you hear it. Keep going. You'll hear it. Too close to it. Now hear how that was, and you even felt it. Yeah, yeah, so fine. now go down until you feel the unit hit the ground and then bump it up once. You're gonna feel it. Boom, bump it up. Now you know you're hovering. Maybe one more time just to be safe. Yeah, and then before you hit jaws close, go down all the way, feel it again. You know what I mean? Let it hover right now. And you just wanna try to get that forks underneath that plate. And you don't have to be perfect. You know you're hovering, so you don't have to worry about hitting nothing. Now, you do want to hit it, so I'd go that way a little bit, but it, look, you don't have to be perfect, so boom, that's perfect. Both of the crossbar is now, if you were on an angle, yeah. you'd want to hit it that hard because it'll make the other side hit the other side of the tire. So now you're gonna hit jaws close, hit the close button, and then hit up. Okay, now put it in park. And let's look at the distance so you feel, so you know, you follow me? Yeah, yeah, how far it is? Yeah. That's, that was crucial. If you didn't have that distance, it would be a problem. And that's about where the customer, the other guys, they're not gonna get that distance. No, no, because fully extended, the other guys, I don't think you can lift up something this heavy. Well, not only that, but you're not gonna have the reach that you, you have right now with this. And, you know, this is a great, rule of thumb another customer showed me that gives you an opportunity to gauge it right away and I would feel comfortable towing this thing 500 miles just like this because it's extended out all the way doesn't matter I like these units extended out all the way because now you're on the stop see these stops yeah so every time you pull up that away you're pulling a stop out of the shoulder I drop if you were over way more than you were it's it still would have towed it this is nice. Yeah. No squat. No squat. It's a 3500 too. No squat, no nothing. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for you. I mean, honestly, because you you have the auto body. You, you, now you got the record. You're not relying on anybody else but yourself at this point. And you chose a good piece of product. The double motor pump, everything is encased in there. Uh, there's keys to the toolbox hanging on the inside. Yeah. And this too I really like. Because the, uh, all the other ones, they just throw them in here. Well, that, or they put them underneath. So now yeah. the rain and the salt and the snow just... I, I want my yeah. stuff protected. Yeah, that's good. And then I like how you just put a net cover on top. Correct, yeah. But it had to be folding. You lose the ability to have that tunnel cover where it rolls up. You know, but you're not going to lose the folding one, and you can get a nice folding one. Yeah, the, the MX4, I already have it at the shop, I'm just waiting to put it in. Yeah, I, I mean, this is such a beautiful uh, deal. So, on your tire from the factory, it'll show a load range. Oh, look, made in the USA, that's nice to see. Load range E. So, load range F would be even better. So okay. if you can get a load range F tire, now you may have a problem finding it in this diameter, I don't know, but any time that you can get an F rated tire versus an E rated, no question. It's gonna cost more, but it's gonna last longer. Okay. And it's better rated for towing. I think it's 10 ply versus 12 ply. Yeah. So 12 ply is load F. Is there a difference in the tire pressure or whatever the standard is on the tire? Well, it, on here, you're gonna go by what the tire you know, rating is. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna put a load on. So these are gonna wear out eventually in, uh, you know, when you do replace them, look, you know, load F. If you gotta find load E, it is what, don't don't feel bad, but try to, you know, put the, the better tire, you know what I mean? All right, here he goes. 
Diamond out of bodies, taking back his Sierra Denali ultimate. Oh, tucked up in the back. It's a beautiful truck. He's gonna enjoy it. Thank you guys for the business. Stay tuned for the next video.